Hi friends, coming at you again today. <laughs> I came outside to do a video, something that's been bothering my spirit and I believe the Holy Spirit wants me to share this. And as I sat down on my chair, I saw this on my outside chair. It's like a two, like a double flower and it's something that the birds bring me as a gift. Um, yeah, I know, very strange, right? I talk about my birds. Well, kind of people can be a peculiar people that's what the Bible says and um, before I go into it I just noticed I'm wearing a Paris shirt which wasn't planned but in light of the Olympics it makes sense so here's what I want to talk about I want to talk about the fact that um, this morning I was watching this video you guys are so many birds right now both of them are like go back home we want to eat um, dissecting Brandon Burke's prophetic word about Trump's ear and being the assassination attempt and being shot and calling him a false prophet. And so what was troubling me about this is that prophetic voices are really needed in the end times and we, we need to be very careful who we put our mouth on just because certain details don't sound right or maybe he said this first and then he didn't say this. Uh, you know, as I was starting out, and I'm still learning so much, it's it's tough, and I feel like the prophetic has it the hardest and has the most criticism on it and has the most eyes on it, um, but it's tough, you guys, it's tough, because we prophesy and we know in part, and the Bible says that we, um, we're not to add or take away, but sometimes we give the best of interpretation of what we hear or what we see, right? And we can't always know everything 100%. And so, but to call someone a, a, a false prophet just because the details don't add up or this or that, you know, we have to look at the heart of the matter. What was the message behind it? Why did the Lord reveal it in the first place? We have to be very careful Right? Do my prophets no harm? And uh, the Bible is very clear, you know, in the, in the end times right now. We have to be very, very, very careful who we put our mouth on. i got to show you these birds. Do you see this little birdie? Oops. And then there's another one right there. <laughs> They're just waiting on me. Um, anyway, I'm just going to say.